Hi, my name is Godwin Jo. I am doing my studies at Soyaram Engineering College and I am here to, to talk about the impact of COVID-19 and the current crisis in Europe. A thank the GLP forum for giving me a chance to present my perspective in, a, in regards to impact of COVID-19 and current crisis in Europe. Did you know that a people in Europe has suffered a mental and physical due to COVID? Over the course of next 10 minutes, I am going to share more about my views on the impact of COVID-19 and current crisis in Europe. COVID-19 impact. The COVID-19 created a huge impact on a people both mentally and physically. It leads to loss of fellow relatives and due to lockdowns, which creates the unemployment. Also, it creates a huge lens of an, uh, people. As a global as a global uh, emerging leader, it's my responsibility and duty to accommodate the people and create them a better life food. When COVID was in a peak, a daily cases in Europe was more than 3 lakhs. Due to this government implement every lockdown which forced many people to go to jobless. First step in the council, these people and make them mentally strong and make them realize that a life has to move on, we should a uh, mental mentally prepared to face uh, anything. Uh, the next step is create an employment opportunity for these people which will provide economic support for them. Uh, as a prevention is better than cure, I will give awareness to the people for a prevention of COVID-19. It is also my duty to lay a foundation for the future. As a human, we have to face everything which is either good, and, good or bad. At bad situation, at the end of the day, only thing we hope that our light is dark tunnel. Most, Most important challenge that European Union facing in 2022, migration. Most of the people from Syria and other Asian countries underdeveloped. So due to the factors like unemployment, food scarcity, better shelter, these factors are the main reason to move to the Europe country. To solve the migration, there should be a proper, proper asylum procedure to follow across the all European country. The people should give the proper education which can prevent unemployment. This help to reduce the rate of migration. As most of the refuse of from Syria, the European Union can proceed the Gulf country to take the Syrian people into their country. Without the proper testing, the people who migrated can be potential spreader of COVID-19. To avoid this, there should be a tight and strict measurement to be taken across the border. To accommodate the migrants, there is a huge fund needed to take the problem. The migrant can be give a small opportunity and protective of a country development. Migration can't be avoided fully, but it can be prevented as a human is our duty to see the refugees as thus as some human. Security and defense. This is also one of the major issues facing by the European countries. As we know as the current problem going on in Russia and Ukraine going on for the capture of a Black Sea. If Russia managed to conquer a Ukraine, there will be huge security threats to the border country of an Ukraine such as Hungary and Poland. This end not only this uh, loss of an livelihood of the people, also economic crisis faced all over the globe. In order to avoid this European Union should came together and make the collaborate measurement and how to fight security across the border of a European Union countries. Only way to stop this war by the formal talks between the two country leaders. Using the weapon is not the only solution as result only the loss of life. Climate changes. Climate change is not only the problem faced by the European countries. As it is a one of the major issue going across the globe. A climate change caused a huge disaster such as flood, drought, so on. Which caused the both overflow of water as well as water scarcity. There should be always the balance between them. Uh, if the problem proceeds, the world is uh, heading to catastrophe. In order to prevent this, all country, includes the European Union, signed the agreement known as Paris Agreement on 12 December 2015. The main principle of agreement was to limit a globe warming, globe warming to below a two degree Celsius and reduction of carbon emission. Not only the signing of agreement will be the solution for its assets. The responsibility of each of every person to take measure to prevent a global warming.